Hey, how's it going everyone? Tazen here and today I want to talk about whether expansion packs can save game series from bad sequels. So this is something that I've wanted to discuss for quite some time and I think a lot of it is ever since Final Fantasy 13 came out um, and then all of a sudden they just pumped out two sequels. Some people like them, some people don't. Many, for, or I should say many don't, they feel like it was just something they dragged the series trying to redeem it because maybe the, the original 13 didn't have the best sort of um, response or people didn't like it as much as Square Enix hoped. And it was whether, you know, people question whether they just dug themselves into a grave. And then recently I'm seeing games like Final Fantasy 15, they're discussing, you know, about um, doing expansions for it possibly down the road. And then other people saying, well, would they do sequels for it like they did with the Final Fantasy 13 and convolute the story and sort of ruin it? Um, and by no means am I saying either one is, um, am I saying it would convolute it, but... Recently, we've seen games like um, The Witcher 3. They've, uh, instead of going down this sort of really, sort of small DLC approach that we see with many games, they've actually given us a, a, a full game. They haven't given us a game where they've taken something out only to put it in. They've given us a full game. And then later on down the track, they've added a expansion pack, which is given, it's, it's not like a small DLC, but it's actually given you a full extra 10 to 15 hours of full story, and extra stuff to do and it makes it sort of feel like you're still playing the same game but you're continuing the story, you're experiencing something new without them going off and creating a whole new game um, and having to fill all these things in and sort of put all these ideas into it to make it a full game and then in a way you're actually losing part of sort of the um, yeah, sort of the richness of that, that series and that world, you know, and taking away too much from the first one or trying to connect in a way. So, yeah, that's it's something I've always wanted to talk about. Uh, recently, we've got the Blood and Wine sequel coming out for The Witcher 3, something that I'm not too much of a Witcher 3 um, expert or anything. I've never played the, the Witcher games or anything. I do have friends that play it, so I hear from them how it works. But then, you know, I see games like Destiny, for example, Although we've been getting expansion packs, one that, I don't know whether they call them expansion packs or, or DLC packs, but the thing is, I feel like Destiny was a game where they gave us an incomplete game. They didn't give us a full game. It was incomplete because they took these things out only then to bring it back in. So that's sort of another thing that um, I feel, yeah, it's something that ruins a game. It should be something that you get that complete game. And that's the intention of the story. And then later on, you know, they build something. So Final Fantasy XV, would I prefer to see a sequel or expansion packs? I prefer to see expansion packs. Obviously, they're really enforced, and especially being such a game in long production, that we are getting the full game, you know. And then down the track, maybe they will give us an expansion pack that will give us an extra 10 or 15 hours. And it isn't something that's essentially been taken out of the game. It's something new. Um... And there's so many things I feel that's good about that. You know, it could be like a whole story about maybe an astral or something. You go off on some adventure, there's some enemy, you know, like a boss or something. But it's a 15-hour story to that. As opposed to them, yeah, essentially giving us a whole new game where they're trying to put in a new enemy or something and a whole new sort of thing going on. Um, and, yeah, things like that. It's, it's, it's really interesting to consider. You know, it's something like... It's a pretty, uh, what's the word? I've got a pretty straightforward opinion on it. So, you know, it's, it's, it can never be, how do I say? Um, there's no right answer. So you could get games that have amazing sequels. Um, Final Fantasy X-2, for example, I enjoyed the sequel, but then some people didn't. Um, I feel like there are things that they could have done differently. I think I like how they went off in the story. Um, like a new sort of story and stuff, but then they did link it to the original. But then, you know, I'm just trying to think of other games where they really just try to drag it out. For example, games like uh, Xenoblade and stuff, I think it's great. They leave it at that game and it's a perfect story. Um, and it's something that you're always going to cherish. They put sequels in, they could just be really sort of diluting that, that you know, sort of that memorable uh, standalone story. So... Yeah, anyways, guys, that's my thought on it. Um, obviously, yeah, everyone could probably have different thoughts on that. So please, yeah, let me know in the comment section below what you think. Do you prefer um, 
to hopefully see sequels later on? Do you prefer to see expansion packs instead and proper expansion packs that are not content that have been removed from the game, but an extra 10 to 15 hours that have been created um, post-game? So something that is, yeah, essentially not taking away from the original story. Or do you prefer to just see a full game? That's it, you know, one that's polished, complete, you play it, and then, you know, they move on to a next story, like a Final Fantasy 16 or something. But uh, yeah, anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for liking and subscribing, and until next video, stay spot on.